Hey guys, this is part two of 75-year-old Michael's case where he fell off a ladder, bumped his head against the wall, gave himself a concussion at home. He has diabetes, has headaches all the time, and constipation. Here he's showing that he has neck pain. Here he's showing that he has tinnitus. Here he's showing his shuffling feet ever since the accident. Here he has neuropathy in his fingers. We took a ton of x-rays, showed tons of arthritis, and all sorts of other problems. We adjusted him. <laughs> oh! After the first week of adjustment, I felt I felt good. A little noise in my ear, about a quarter. About a quarter. We started uh, at five last week. Five. Walking, I felt good. I don't shuffle anymore. That I don't shuffle at all. What'd your parent? What'd your parents? What'd your kids say about you? Oh, walk? Um, they loved my walk, and they loved, and they recognized that I had uh, a neck. My neck went, got went up, and they noticed that all my kids. Even my neighbor, he says, Mike, you have a neck. <laughs> I guess I must have been like a buffalo or a football player. But no, I feel good. I really feel good. Good. So today we're going to give him his first atlas adjustment, let you guys watch. I've been waiting to do this all week. His atlas is uh, right next to his ear. We got it down to a quarter without even adjusting his atlas. So we come right off the mastery process here. This right side has been a bugger for me. It has really been hard to adjust all last week. And so I'm looking forward to this one. I can't wait to see what happens here. Oh, wow. Oh, it popped a little. A little bit. Not as much as I thought still, yeah. but it popped a little bit. Oh. Again, I really want to hook on this atlas. I really want to get it adjusted here. <laughs> yo. When's the last time you said yo? Today. <laughs> <laughs> so much better job, as his children say, he has a neck now. Okay, let me have this arm. Like I said, this shouldn't hurt at all. Not this one. Oh! Oh! Yeah, there we go. Woo. That popped. You guys hear that? Yeah. <laughs> and this one now? Good. And that one popped too. Perfect. He does not like to straighten his arms. So we're going to adjust his oh. arms like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You said it wasn't going to hurt. Oh, I meant the shoulders. I didn't tell okay, you. Okay, okay. Oh, the shoulders hurt it too, but not that much. <laughs> we got one more. No, go for it. Ah, that popped. Oh, they both popped. <laughs> oh my god. So anyways, I've been watching him walk with his arms uh, bent like this all the time for the last week and a half. Yes. So I want him to try to loosen them up, but these will hurt. So I've been wanting to do this. This will help you breathe so much better. Okay. Yay! Yay! Hey, you sound like AJ now. Is that AJ in here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that Spanish came out on me. Oh, actually went pretty good. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! That one didn't pop. No papi. <clears throat> There's one. one pop. Okay, glove. He is one tough pumpkin, pumpkin, to adjust. So this glove helps me hold on to his skin better, so I can actually adjust this spot, which is his atlas again. Good. Okay. Oh. Oh. We're gonna adjust his shoulders again and elbows again, and we're gonna do a thoracic adjustment on him. His ringing in his ear is down to a quarter now, right? Quarter. And only when he sleeps. So we're gonna go over how to sleep this afternoon. He's pooping up a storm now, and he's not peeing as much too, right? Yeah. We've also tried to decrease his um, insulin. insulin shots. Normally a three time a day insulin injector. Uh, we're down to two injections. We're gonna to go to one now and see how that works this week too. Let's get these shoulders adjusted. <clears throat> Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, oh. There we go. Woo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know you were gonna do it. <laughs> oh. Mm. How'd it feel? Good. <laughs> okay. Now I gotta. Now I gotta trick him. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yo. Did it. Yes. We're going to give him a little thoracic adjustment here. The way I want you to breathe, sir, is in through your nose, out through your mouth. A little scar tissue down here. So breathe in, sir. In the nose. Out the mouth. Drop the belly. Push the belly down. Oh! Good. Oh, you popped my 
Hey! Clavicle again, that left one went really good. And I don't think it hurt it very much. Hey! Good. That one did it. Me and my little rubber ducky right here. He seems to do really well when I do this. Hey! Oh! I felt that one. <laughs> yeah. Let this go. Don't get close to me, because one time I'm going to pop you. <laughs> oh, that felt real good. <laughs> no, really. Going to adjust his jaw. He grinds his teeth at night. Good. Keep your mouth open right there. Good. Oh! One more side. Uh, there we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh. Down on that one. How did you do with the driving? Driving, great. Did it feel differently? Yes, it felt differently. Yeah. And so how did it feel different? Because you have to have your hands out and I'm not used to it. And my back was up front more. Yeah. That felt good. It felt good? Yes, it felt good. Feel more comfortable to drive? Yes, more comfortable. Yes. How'd you do driving? Um, Definitely, um, it was a little challenging having because I'm used to so leaning back, <coughs> so like um, this um, back muscles and core muscles mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Had, were, had to go to work. But over time, just sitting in that position <coughs> like that was yeah. good for my back. And I noticed when I was getting out of the car, there was no tightness. And normally, you have a little tightness get out of the car all the time, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, once yeah. I sit down for too long in that awkward position, it gets so tight, yeah. but like this time, you just it felt like it was a stretch. Yeah. So that's why I have to force you to kind of try something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't want to try it, but you have to force it. And then all of a sudden you go, wow, it's a different way. Yeah, it's it's good. a better way. Like, yeah. Yeah, especially at the end result, when I got out of the car, my hip feel looser. I don't feel no tightness. I'm like, maybe I need to be making more effort. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, I mean, like, once I see results, I get motivated. How'd you guys sleep? That I didn't like too much. Interesting. Why? The straightness. Because you told me I could move now, it was not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and then I go back and tried my apex, my a pans, and uh, and then I leave them there, and I wake up. I go, oh my god, I could move. <laughs> I forget I could move. But when I'm like that, I'm not comfortable. When I turned, took that pillow off and put the other pillow and opened it and and laid on my back and on my where I put it on my neck. Uh -huh. Oh, and I stepped to my side, this side. I felt good. Did you have any ring when you woke up this morning? When I wake up, I have it. About a quarter. Yeah. So still this morning? Yeah. Okay. And then it went away. I went to the back first, laid on my back, and eventually the body gets tired of laying in that way. So I laid on this side, but I noticed the pillow wasn't able to support my neck enough. You know, I don't have the firm pillow. So I was feeling like a pool here. And you said that's terrible. Yeah. So I'm like, eventually I have to return back to the to the back. Again, how about your rest? How'd you feel this morning? Woke up, rested again? Yeah, I mean, initially, uh, you know, I was very sore yesterday, but like halfway through the night, uh -huh. and then I, was, I could lay there and, and be more, more relaxed. Exactly, more relaxed. Gotcha. Yeah. Very generous patients sometimes bring me gifts, and this is a good one. So if you want to uh, <laughs> think about something when you love me, <laughs> love me with Don Julio. <laughs> I have given this guy a very, very hard time, and I do apologize, but I hope I got the best out of you. Well, I learned a lot too. Yeah. The last two weeks here were, were kind of hard, learning everything you have to do, but I enjoyed it. I really did. I'm not laughing or anything, but I enjoyed what's coming out of this. So it's really helping me yeah. too. So why don't you tell us how much better you are over the last couple of weeks? Okay, uh, I feel a lot better. I was shuffling when I was walking. I'm not doing that no more. I had an ear, um, uh, buzzing tss, tss, and it goes away and it comes back maybe a quarter percent out of five or six. How much better do you think you are over this uh, percentage wise? 50, no, I mean 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. yes. Gotcha. Okay, it was, a six, five, it was a five, five or six, six yeah. and now it's down to a quarter and sometimes I don't even hear it at all. I'd say about 80%. I don't have any neck pain no more. Now, you all. had it out here though. We had yes, neck pain before. Uh, it was about a Three, four, did I say? I forget, but something like that? Yes. No, I don't have neck pain. Better 90. Touch. I haven't had any headaches because I'm doing that A, a pants and breathing. Mm -hmm. And it's really working. 
Gotcha. I didn't think it would, but it works. So on a percentage scale, how much special? How much better is that? About 80. How much better is the shuffling the feet? 90. 90, right? 90. Again, he only cares about the little monkey in his ear. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I care about how the whole body works, and so I think that's amazing. 90% better. Diabetes. Uh, I want to know what you think. We, we've been talking about diabetes. He takes three injections a day, ton of medication. Do you think it's improved at all? I'm kind of curious. It might be improving. I can't tell yet because the way I'm eating, where he's sending us to eat, I ain't like an animal. So, but when I get home, I'll get readjusted and I'm gonna try to go to one shot. Do you think there's shot. a one shot? He takes three shots a day. And so we're already down to one shot, right? Right. Gotcha, I'll show you the numbers in a few minutes. I've sent him to a pretty good restaurants. What do you think of the restaurants? All the restaurants are great. And then me and mama eat. Me and mama eat. Yeah. And are they very expensive, the ones I send you? No, to? no. Yeah but they give you a lot of food. Exactly. And they all know him great. Carpal tunnel, both hands. Uh, they feel a lot better. Um, 50%? My oh, leg. he poops more. Tell us about your pooping. Oh yeah. I never, I used to poop, but not as much as he's got me doing. I mean, I poop now and I clear myself out, I guess, because I feel good. So I'm Can you go like, this? I go like this, put your hand up like this. Say, poopsie, poopsie. <laughs> How about the frequent urination? Going to the bathroom all the time. Has that changed? Uh, uh, urinating because I take a pill, my yeah. diabetic pill, and that's a water pill. Yeah, but have you still, has that changed at all, the urination frequency? Do you wake up as many times a night? I'm well, only curious. I, no, I don't. You know, no, I don't. But if I would stop taking the pill, maybe I'd stop peeing. Well, peeing. I know. Anything else you want to share, sir? No, all in all. I feel great now. Good. I really do. How about my personality? Sometimes, I'm going to tell you the truth. If his son wasn't here, I would have kicked his ass all over the place. But I love him. I really do. I love him and he loves me. Yeah. But he, he he's for the people. He's for his patients. I really do mean that. Vote for Dr. Thayer. <laughs> <laughs> what did your kids tell you before you came here? And what did they tell you now about your neck? I never had a neck. Where's your neck, Dad? Where's, Where's your, your neck? neck? Where's your and neck? And now they've seen a neck. When I went home, they see my neck because my shoulders are going down. And why? Because this guy's You're pushing the shit out. Holding out now. <laughs> good, good. Right there, sir. Drop. Oh my God. Oh. So much more relaxed. Ooh, oh, that hey, popped. Yeah. This was a little tired today. This morning was better. Okay, a pants, please. A pants. More. Okay. And give me a little chin. Give me a little... There we oh, go. Oh, yes, nice. yes. Woo -wee. That was good. <laughs> um, he loved it when I let the pregnancy release off. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, guys, okay, so shh. Listen. Ay, ay, ay. Mucho bueno. <laughs> <laughs> this is Michael's diabetes numbers. These are the dates he did it, and uh, he was taking three injections a day, and these are his numbers of uh, his insulin numbers, not insulin numbers, his blood sugar numbers. And you can see on this last day, his numbers aren't that bad, and he hasn't taken any injections. Just the one injection. Right, in the morning. Anyways, just want to show that.